Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about using the product rule to simplify square roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So what is the product rule with square roots? We hear that term quite often in mathematics, okay? Well, let's say it in a nutshell. The product rule for simplifying square roots. If A and B are non-negative, the square root of the product AB is equal to the product of the square roots of A and B. And now that in a little quick little visual. The square root here of AB, remember, remember that's multiplication, is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B. Now remember this only works for multiplication. Some people would think this also works for addition and it does not. But this is a nice little rule for us to use for our next couple examples. So let's just dive right in. Let's go for our first one here. Let's call it example two, A. What about the square root of 300? How can we use this product rule to simplify these square roots, okay? <clears throat> um, well, what do we know about 300? Well, 300 is really 100 times three. And this is where it kind of comes in. 100 times 3 is equal to 300. Now, in our previous video, I kind of broke it down using a tree, but we this is essentially doing the same thing, but now we have a rule for it. Okay, 100 times 3, and now we can separate each one of these individually. Square root of 100 times the square root of 3. Well, we already know what the square root of 100 was from the previous video, but in case we forgot, remember, square root of 100 is just 10, right? Because 10 times 10 is 100. And the square root of 3 doesn't simplify anymore, so we have square root of 3. Now there's multiplication going on there, but we don't always write it. So now we have 10 square root of 3 as our answer. Let's do another problem. A little more difficult. Part B. The square root of 162 a to the fifth power b to the fourth power. Okay, this one gets a little tricky here. Okay, a little tricky. Because we have 162 and then we have some other variables. So we number and variables. But we know that we can really break down this as much as we can. We're trying to find some number that maybe we can multiply. What can we do? That makes it an easy number to take a square root. That's our goal. Well, 162, that is 2 times 81. Okay, so let's see what that looks like here. 81 times 2 times, and then now we're going to break down a to the fifth power, right? If it was to the fourth power, I could take a square root easily. So let's go a to the fourth power times a to the first power, and we don't need to write that. And then we can just have b to the fourth power there, okay, left over. And we did that on purpose, again, because we knew a to the fourth power was an easy thing to take a square root, being that even power, okay? So now we've separated up to parts that are easy. Let's see what we can do. Square root, I'll do it, I'll write it below so it's a little easier to see. Remember, again, all multiplication. Square root of 81 is just 9. I'm going to leave it outside the square root. 2, I'm going to leave that there. And I cross off the 81 there to show that I've already used that term. I'm going to leave the 2 right now. Square root of a to the 4th power is just a squared. Okay. And this a, we can't take the square root. But the b, we can't. So we have b to the 4th power is just b squared. Remember? Square root of b to the fourth power is b squared. And now what we're left with is just what's on the inside, the square root of 2a. And there's nothing else I really can simplify this anymore, right? We have 9a squared b squared times two, square root of 2a. And again, there's multiplication going in between each term. Okay. So let's try another example. Example 3 and a little, little one here. Okay. So we want to simplify this expression. It's already going to be broken apart, but we're going to maybe combine it together. So we have the square root of 12 times the square root of 3. 
And notice the multiplication is on the outside. And so our rule states that these two parts are equal. So we could combine them to one square root radical, and that might be easier there. So our rule states that we can write it like this, the square root of 12 times 3 all under one square root. Then from there, 12 times 3 is 36, so the square root now of 36. And what is the square root of 36? Well, 6 times 6 is 36, so the square root of 36 is just 6. And there we have our answer. So I hope this video was informative on how you uh, to use the product rule to simplify square roots. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video and comment down below. This helps us make more videos so you can learn. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.